Good morning, weasel. Say good morning to the good people. Say good morning. Good morning to the good people. Good enough, good boy. We're here in the rest area. A little, uh, where are we? West of Minneapolis in Minnesota. Good thing it didn't snow all night. We didn't get too much snow. We are headed down to Chicago. We're gonna be down there tonight. I'd like to go sleep right at the customer. Uh, it's not quite in Chicago, it's a little bit before Chicago, so I think it might be safe to park there overnight, but I gotta double check and maybe I'll give them a call. It looks like a safer area. I wouldn't go and park right in the city of Chicago ever for night. But if I can get right to the customer tonight, that'd be great because then I can be there first thing in the morning for them. And then I can rush over to my reload, which is in Michigan City, Indiana. Going through Chicago takes a little while. Michigan City isn't that too far away. It's weird that Michigan City, Indiana... Well, Michigan City is in Indiana, not in Michigan. But it's at like the border of Michigan. So it's almost Michigan City, Indiana. So like usual, my truck decided uh, that I wanted to get going and it was a good time to do a regen. Just as I was about to put it in gear too. So often that happens. It's like it can sense when I wake up. Like it feels the truck moving around a bit as I'm getting ready. So, oh, oh, he wants to get going soon. Time to hold him up. These uh, regens that, I can stop it in the middle of it. It's just not really good to do that. They only last about 20 minutes. It's when I have to do a parked regen. That lasts over an hour. Closed scales are the best kinds of scales. So I called the customer and uh, there's room to park right in their driveway as long as no one else is there first. There's room for about two trucks in their driveway and as long as there's room, I can pull in there and they'll unload me around 6 a.m. tomorrow. So that's good. I can start my day right there. Otherwise I'd have to stop somewhere around like South Beloit which is just into Illinois and it's quite a bit of a drive in Chicago from there yet, especially during rush hour in the morning. So we're in Wisconsin now, we just entered the state. I can see the sign for Flying J up ahead here in Roberts, Wisconsin already. I'm gonna pull in there and get some fuel, get a coffee, because I haven't had a coffee today yet. I did not think that through when I stopped last night. There was nowhere to get coffee until we got through the city. So I had to get all the way through Minneapolis, St. Paul, on empty. It was terrible, but we're okay, we made it. Coffee's just up the hill. Well, apparently there's a lineup unlike any other lineup for fuel right now. We got this guy here, that guy there, that guy there, and it goes all the way around the corner behind these trucks yet. And then all the pumps are all taken up, and uh, I think, from what I could tell, people were parked in front of the pumps and leaving their trucks there and going inside for their half hour break. So we're backed up all the way. There's a truck behind me here yet, and then there's that truck over there yet. So we're all backed up because of it. We got some movement going on right now. Good. It backs up really quickly when people uh, leave their trucks blocking the pumps. Can't stand it when they do that. It's they just don't care. They know it backs up because they're the first to complain when it happens to them, right? They're the first to complain when someone blocks them from getting to the pumps, but they just don't care. You know, they need their half hour break. They're just going to park it right in the pumps and just walk inside, wander around and yet there's lots of parking spots, you know, the parking lot isn't even half full. rather block a pump and we all gotta wait if you're just new to the trucking scene and you're gonna get in the truck soon and start driving you'll notice it very soon that there's a lot of drivers a lot way too many that are just grumpy I don't want to say ignorant because they know they know what they're doing but they just don't care that's the problem they don't care that they're holding up your day. They don't care that they're in the way. Lazy, maybe, could be a word to describe it. Those are usually the guys who are too lazy to even go in and have a shower. Every couple of days, at least. 
know, and they're too lazy to eat properly as well. So, you know, they eat all the worst truck stop food they can, and then they wonder why, you know, why they're 400 pounds. They know, but you gotta be patient as a truck driver. It's one of the reasons I, I do these videos is to try to create a new image for truck drivers. Try to, you know, we've got a lot of drivers watching me. Maybe influence them to be a little bit better on the road. Maybe to think about others a little bit more. Maybe to be a little more courteous. We're all trying to do the same job and there's a couple of people every day that can make it very miserable for everybody. But you gotta take care of yourself and you gotta think about everybody else. Sounds pretty basic, right? Like everybody should know this. We're all taught this, aren't we? Apparently not. I don't think a lot of people had that same teaching when they were growing up as kids. It doesn't seem that way. There's some people who completely miss the bandwagon altogether and think that they're the only people that matter. But, you know, those people are the minority. They're, it's not like everybody's like that. It's just, it's the same thing as the internet, right? The internet is filled with good people. Like, look at my audience here. Like, you guys are great people. Great people. My comment sections are great for the most part. You go to some other channels, there, there's some garbage filth out there on the internet. A lot of it. But the majority of people in this world, at least in this part of the world, let's say, the majority of people in the West are good people who mean well and want to help others. It's just the other group is the loudest. They're very loud and obnoxious. So they hog the limelight and it makes it seem sometimes like everybody is like that. It's not true. Majority of people are good people. Well, I got my fuel. That was absolute chaos. Wow, and it's still chaos. It's getting even worse, all these trucks trying to get in here now. Trucks going out the entrance because the exit is blocked by people who just park and run inside for a coffee. So they're going out the entrance, but then the entrance is blocked because there's so many trucks trying to get in that the ones can't trying to get out can't get out, the ones trying to get in can't get in. All because people block the pumps <laughs> and block the exit in the meantime as well. Oh boy. Some people, you know, you just want to whap them across the back of the head. I think a lot of people should have been spanked in their childhood, you know what I mean? There's a lot of adults out here that need a good spanking. What is going on here? Oh, the salt truck hit the ditch. <laughs> That's a snow plow in the ditch. You're not supposed to plow the ditch, buddy. Why were you out plowing anyways? Look at the roads, they're clear and dry. <laughs> he's plow I guess he's plowing the shoulder here, which doesn't really need plowing, but whatever, he's plowing it. And he went too far. Whoops. That's funny. We still got so much packed snow here at the Black River Falls Flying Jay. I had to stop here because the marker lights on my trailer had gone out. There are extra clearance lights on this trailer. Uh, it's for wide loads. You, they're adjustable. You can pull them out, right? And they always give me problems on these triaxles. Uh, it turned out that my fuse was blown on my truck for the trailer marker lights. So I went back there to check it out. 
and uh, one of those extendable marker lights again the wiring was all exposed and was shorting out so it was it blew my fuse I replaced the fuse it blew another fuse so then I went and traced it down to where it was and I just unplugged that whole wire from the power because I don't need it so there's that problem but it seems pretty often that uh, these triaxles give me electrical problems. It's always with those same marker lights too. You only use them with wide loads and you don't have to use them. They're just, at night, they're, uh, they're nice to have because otherwise you gotta put on your own marker lights on the edge of the load and it sort of, it, it lights up where the edge of your load is. See so if I can get on into traffic here now. Oh well, I think our whole triaxle fleet of trailers needs to be rewired. I'm gonna have to let them know that when I get back to the yard. So the last one I had had electrical problems too. It wasn't shorting out, but uh, some of the wires had corroded off. I think they're all just getting old, right? And the wires are all corroding and the connections are corroding. Just needs a little bit of work done to all of them. Because I haven't hooked onto a triaxle in a long time without those marker lights giving me problems. So we're getting back onto I-94. Now that that's fixed, we're going to head down to the Petro Stopping Center. About an hour and a half south from here. And I'm going to stop and go to the Blue Beacon Truck Wash. Hopefully it won't be too long of a wait, but it's high time we get this truck washed. High time. So we got one, two, three trucks in front of us, and then the one that's in the wash bay right now. So four in front of us. Shouldn't take too long. Jeezel. Maybe I can take you out while we're waiting. Hey, you wanna go inside? Real quick? Okay. Oh, like getting a massage. I love getting my vehicles washed. Best feeling in the world. I could just fall asleep to that sound of all the... All the jets hitting the truck. It's a soothing sound. It's sort of like the ocean, you know?
clean truck again. Oh, it feels so good. Oh, man, it's been way too long. So it's not gonna stay clean very long because the roads are kind of dirty, but at least the salt that's been on there for a month or two is gone. So what I did was I got a classic truck wash, an engine wash, an undercarriage wash, and it cost me uh, $66 after tax, US. Not too bad. Now I gotta find a parking spot where I can quickly just run in and get a coffee, and we'll be on our way again. Might be able to just park in front of one of these pumps here just to grab a coffee. You don't want to block the pump. Just to run in and grab a coffee is okay, but I'm not going to have a shower and you know, have a big long visit or anything in there. There we go. Beautiful. Got about two and a half, three hours to go yet. Gonna be exiting in about two and a half miles here onto US 20. That's gonna take me down to US 47. I can take that straight south. And that should bring me up close to Montgomery, Illinois. I think I might actually stop and spend the night. Uh, what's the town called again? It's a town nearby. There's a Snap Fitness gym there. That way I can go into the gym, park the truck there, go into the gym, and then just go straight to sleep after I'm done. And just start from there in the morning. I'm gonna see how much parking is around there. It's sort of like in a commercial district, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find some parking on the street there somewhere on one of the industrial roads. If not, I can go right to the customer park in their driveway, but this way at least I can get my workout in today yet. Snap Fitness is just off to our left here. Another new location for me, so let's see if I can find a parking spot nearby. I think I'll be able to park right up along the side of it there. This is why I like going to, to the gym in the evening. Because uh, then I, it's much easier to get my truck close. Oh yeah, I can easily park in here. Take the next left, then turn right. Beautiful. Look at all this. Take so, the next right, then your destination will be on the right. So, Snap Fitness is right here in this building to our right. Well, we had a good workout, and I'm parked on the street, just close by the gym. I should be good here till the morning. Probably be out of here before anyone even pulls in in the morning. Kind of set up my bed. This is that uh, memory foam mattress. You just roll it up like that. This thing is so comfortable. I slept so good last night. Britt is gonna love it. There you go, you got a nice memory foam mattress. Super comfy. That way we can still use the table. I know I had an actual mattress in here before, but there's no way you can roll up an actual mattress. With this, throw it up there. You can have the table up here. You can play board games. I can edit my vlogs. I can just hang out, eat my breakfast. I like this a lot better. So thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel here. Links to all my other social media and my wife's social media as well down below this video and every other video I make. I'll see you tomorrow.